Hi, I'm David DeSteno, Professor of Psychology at Northeastern University, here with June Gruber, an Associate Professor of Psychology at the University of Colorado Boulder. We'd like to welcome you to a four-part interview series on communicating psychological science with the public, sponsored by the Association for Psychological Science. We decided to put together this online series because we know that communicating scientific findings and ideas is the critical mission of our field. The very success of psychological science relies on helping to foster an informed public. Our hope is that you'll learn a bit more about what kinds of public communication outlets there are, maybe some tips for how to get started, and pitfalls to avoid if you choose to start this kind of outreach yourself. There are many ways to communicate science, so to give you a broad view, you'll hear from a range of speakers. Dave Nisbaum, who besides being an opinion writer himself, started an organization called Psychgeist to help psychologists reach the public directly. Uh, and to demystify what happens on the other side of the desk, James Ryerson, who is a senior editor of the New York Times opinion pages, will talk about what he looks for in pieces and common mistakes to avoid. We also have Jim Cohn, a professor of psychology from the University of Virginia and host of the Circle of Willis podcast, who will offer some wisdom for how to go about getting your own podcast started. And Tanya Lombroso, a professor of psychology from Princeton and former blogger for NPR, who will give some insights into what she thinks makes for a successful psychology blog. We know these are trying times, times when we're all under a lot of stress, but we as a community have insights to offer. So as you'll hear, we also discuss in some of these interviews when, how, and why to think about bringing controversial or policy relevant findings forward in a responsible way. We hope you enjoy it.